Hi friends, my name is Claire and you stumbled upon porch coffee, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Watcha Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me, so if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos several times a week. Click the like, click the like. Hey friends, um, whew. I'm, I was so excited to do porch coffee this morning. I really missed you guys. If you didn't notice, no videos got out last week except for porch coffee. And that's not my normal jam. And it's not because I was like super busy working on, oh, sorry, sorry. It's not because I was super busy uh, working on content. Lots of things happened. I had to push out my, my porch coffee to Tuesday. And then I uh, had stuff to do for my nonprofit because, um, Lots of things are coming up with that, and it's kind of our busy season, so... Um, yeah. It was a super stressful week. Um, I definitely went through some autistic shutdown, um, over the weekend. In the, into the week. Pretty much, yeah. It was, um, how to describe it. I was struggling. Um, I'm still trying to get my house clean from my shutdown, so... How was your week? Also, look, can you not see the green? 29, 29 mugs in mug club. I hope I'm counting correctly. They don't make it that easy. And uh, you know, sometimes people order two. So that happened this week twice. Uh, we got two, two mug orders. So thank you so much for that. And, um, you know, the first time I, I ever put an order in, order number one was for my mom, and I totally messed it up. I had the wrong thing linked to it. Basically, my mom was paying the price of a mug for a postcard. I finally figured out what was wrong, and now everything is running smoothly. Um, but thanks, mom, for being my test, my tester. Guys, don't worry, she would have bought a mug anyway, full price, so... She was just helping me out testing. Sometimes I struggle with the count, and then I have a mug. I'm just gonna, maybe I should just keep a tally. Maybe that would be easier. Anyway, I'll keep trying my best. But the point is, we're almost at 30 mugs. Mug Empire. Maybe you're new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, so let me explain. Um, I, we have porch coffee every Monday, because when you're autistic, it can be hard to make friends. And sometimes it's nice to just sit down and hang out with somebody. And the same is for me. It's, it's hard for me. So, um, we kind of fell into this and now it's our thing, our community thing. And I recently launched, uh, porch coffee mugs on my website, which theory.com. So if you want to join the mug club, <laughs> the mug club, <laughs> so terrible, uh, and get yourself on that board. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. Um, you can head on over to woodshedtheory.com. It, it is a help, though. Um, I'm trying to find different um, revenue streams because, uh, cat noise, uh, you know, the ad revenue doesn't pay a whole lot, especially when you're a smaller channel. Even though I don't consider myself like a small, small channel, right? We've got over 6,000, 6,100, almost 6,200 um, people who tune in amazing it's almost like a local cable show that's what i told my sister <laughs> you know it's not it's not that much money on the on the ad revenue side doesn't mean that we're not going to grow to a million okay and when we do you'll you'll know that um you were here early <laughs> you know i've just what's weird is i've been so excited to sit down and have pork coffee with you guys because i haven't put a video out in a few days i put out some shorts and stuff like that but um and now I just want to listen to your week and how did your week go? So make sure you tell me in the comments. 
I'm going to work on getting caught up with comments today. Well, I'm yawning a lot. It certainly has been um, another rainy week here in California. <sighs> Yesterday I had to go do two social outings and I was feeling a lot of anxiety about it. How do I explain it? Um, I've known about both of them for months and then I realized that they were both on the same day. Thank goodness they weren't overlapping, but I had to like travel yesterday and that was hard. Um, but what I did do and everything went well, I just, I've just been not dreading it, but having anxiety about it because I've known about it for months and, and like knowing that the two things were coming on the same day, I just kept worrying about it. So I'm glad that it's over and I had a good time and I don't think I messed it up too bad. Um, fun thing though, I had the two things going on yesterday, but in the middle I had a chunk of time and it just so happened that in between the chunk of time, sorry, what am I saying? Sorry. I don't, if you don't know, um, and some people complain about this sometimes, which is totally fine. Comment. Uh, the algorithm loves it. Uh, I film this as soon as I get up. I make a cup of coffee. I don't brush my hair. I don't brush my teeth. I mean, not before porch coffee, drink a cup of coffee with you. So if it's messed up, that's because this is me. I don't think I'm masking either. I'm just tired. Oh, I had some time in between my two things yesterday. So um, I was in an area that I'm never in because I don't, I don't travel very often. <laughs> and there happened to be a small local yarn store in between the two places I needed to be. So I'm going to do a review on them. A nice one. It was really fun. Um, I picked up some goodies. It was so fun. I've never been in a like boutique local yarn shop where they sell expensive yarn. I, I, uh, it was like going to a candy store, a museum all at once. Uh, wow. I did buy three skeins of yarn and it cost me $54. I, yeah, so not really my, not my, it's not really my scene, okay? But what happened was, is I wasn't gonna get anything because everything was really expensive. And then I found 100% baby alpaca and it was so soft and it was chunky. And then I just bought it, I did. I thought, it's a business expense. I'll do a review on the channel, it's fine. But I never spend that much money. Um, uh, I never spend that much money on yarn, as you know. $54 for three is more than I spent for my whole box of Goodwill yarn that was worth $850, so. But it was a super fun experience and I was happy to support the company and the little shop because, um, yeah, it was a little shop and they had every kind of natural fiber you could think of. They had a little acrylic, some acrylic blends, but nothing straight acrylic. And they mostly were focused on knitting, but they did have crochet hooks. And they had, um, I just, it was so fun to walk around and feel everything because um, I've never felt like, for example, 100% linen. You can't buy that in a craft store. They just don't really sell it. I'm sorry about the, the cat kerfuffle. Um, so I got to feel that. They had um, Rowan pure cashmere yarn and it felt like a freaking cloud. I don't, I mean, obviously I've felt 100% cashmere before, but this yarn was on the next level, pure cashmere. And it cost $70 a ball. I. It was one of those things where I started feeling it before I was naturally attracted to it, walked over, started feeling it, was like, wow, this is so nice. I wonder how much it is. And then I turned it over and saw the price tag and almost dropped it. <laughs> have you ever been there? <laughs> I have. I used to live next to this really fancy mall. I would walk through um, Saks Fifth Avenue and uh, to, to uh, leave the building. 
and they'd always have like designer like uh oscar de la renta i think was near the door so i um I, one time I saw this beautiful sweater it had lace on it and I was like wow that's so pretty so I went over and started touching it and like then I looked at the price tag and it was like three or four thousand dollars and all I could think was my hands are dirty <laughs> I just I'm not in the right tax bracket to be touching this sweater so yeah so that was like a highlight the day was fun anyway I got to see new friends old friends um, you know, uh, stop in on some, uh, fundraiser volunteer stuff and it was great. Um, but that was like also fun. That was also fun. So that'll be coming up on my channel. I have so much work to do guys. And this was not the greatest week for a shutdown slash I don't have a ton of time. Um, but I'm learning that it's okay. And you know what? I think I still got a hundred subscribers this week without posting anything but my porch coffee. So it's, you know, growth isn't always the most important thing, but it just tells me that people are still watching and I appreciate that. I feel like I've been rambling about nothing, but it feels so good to me to reflect on my week. And I really appreciate you guys. Again, I was really going through some shutdown this week and I, um, I, I wasn't always my best self. I just feel like I was really grumpy. Or, not grumpy, but I was in distress and I was struggling with it. I was overwhelmed. Sensory overwhelm had taken hold and I wasn't handling it well. Was it as bad as it used to be before I knew I was autistic and I had tools to handle it? No, not even a little. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was probably a 2 compared to how it used to be. It's still hard because you don't stop being autistic, even when you have an improvement with your negative symptoms, right? And I know that people are understanding of that here and that you'll understand when I explain it, but I just, I don't want to have... I don't want to act out and I don't want to have a breakdown just because I'm overwhelmed and I do so well. <sighs> I do so well. I am managing my symptoms a lot of the time and this week it just didn't happen. So I hope that you find this encouraging to know that you're not alone. It just sucks sometimes to not have control. Um, or not act the way that you want to act. And like being able to feel yourself like <sighs> hulk out, you know, like not, it's just not going well. And, and to be able to recognize the symptoms, you'd think that would make it better. But when it's bad, it actually kind of makes it worse because you know, and you're like, wow, I'm really struggling to control myself. I'm really struggling to not be in in like sensory panic. Does that make sense? That's what's going on with my life. Anyway, I've been talking for a really long time. Uh, shout out to everyone who's still here. I love you very much. I hope you have a great week. Um, I really enjoyed our coffee today. Let me know in the comments what you're up to and I will see you next time. Bye guys.